Interesting. I plugged the headset in and it just seemed to turn it off. I have to actually look into how all this works. I apologize if I missed any of the conversation due to that. Oh my god. What? Uh, apparently my cousin was shot by my aunt. Oh, shit. I beg your pardon? <laughs> like recently? This was yesterday. <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell? Did oh no, I? sorry. It was August 30th that it happened. Uh, she posted about it on Facebook yesterday. And that's how I found out. A lot of questions. Well, apparently, my cousin decided to uh, come from home from college and decided to surprise people without letting them know she was coming. And I guess she burst in through the door, and her mom thought it was somebody breaking in. Uh huh. Shot her. Is, is she alive? Yeah, she's alive. Uh, she was oh, shot man. in the arm. It looks like the elbow. But too bad. It looks like most. It looks like it was mostly just like a uh, in and out through the kind of fat in the arm instead of a. Uh, well, not really fat. There was muscle there. Holy crap! That looks it's not awful. like through the bone though, right? Nothing through the bone, so she should make a perfect recovery. Though oh, she's probably going to have a uh, scar. Pretty cool scar, yeah. That's where I got shot. Okay, never mind. So, uh, her elbow was broken in three spots along with bullet fragments in the elbow. Uh, yeah. The next day she went into surgery and ended up with eight screws and plates in the right arm along with a huge ass incision, as she puts it. Mm. Mm. Jeez. Why am I finding out about this on Facebook? <laughs> oh, right, yes. Uh, Jeez.
Okay, let's figure out three minutes to make a sandwich. You can do it. I still have people who have confidence in me and my abilities. <laughs> Hello? Oh, and hello and welcome! I am Razim, and this is Echoes of Eberron Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I will turn it over now to Mickey! Oh god. Mostly because Dova hasn't fixed his icon. Neither has Cobalt. Alright, let's, let's simmer down, okay? <laughs> Don't punish them for their sins. Exactly. Uh, Mickey, Mickey, you're up. Uh -huh. Can you hear me now? Oh, yes, God. we can. Oh, hello, everyone there. It's such a great day. Oh, that was last, weird how that happened. Last time we were here, we got to fight some ghosts. They were real scary because not even magic missile hit them. But then they became physical and we beat the shit out of them was a great time and then the outside came cold it was a blizzard a snowy wonderland but we came inside and all thoughts of playing in the snow we had to just let it go oh part of this insane it. Aren't we? ouch i hate that it i hate was it so much glorious <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> Fuck you. What's up, Jova? Fucking damn it. Nothing. You have a, is there an issue? Mm, I think there's a lot of issues. Um, anyways. 
Where's my candle? I need to light. I need my candle. <laughs> he needs to burn his notes. No, it needs to smell. No notes. He cannot fumble them. I know, right? My uh, my apartment smells bad because uh, because there's like uh, no circulation air wise. So yeah, I got a candle. Make it smell nice. Anyways. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, last session you guys uh, ransacked the Bodax uh, little lair, gained a few little magic artifacts, um, and... I almost took uh, all those dusty gems, but Zerth made me spit them out. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I think you spat out all of them, so... Yes. That's good. Um, so yeah. Last time you did that, um, you guys uh, stayed inside the cave to take shelter from the storm. A uh, a, a frigid, a bitter winter storm is uh, is currently going on outside. Um, it's uh, the uh, very dim light, uh, kind of uh, diffusing through the uh, through the heavy snow, um, leads you to believe that it is in fact dawn. Um, you guys did, uh, after fighting the ghosts, you guys did end up sleeping through the night. However, none of you benefited from the uh, from a long rest. Um, as with the last long rest, you can spend your hit dice to regain spell slots um, or abilities in addition to HP. Um, but other than the encounter with the ghosts, as their as their screams fade away, the uh, the remainder of the night is uh, is fairly restless, um, with very eerie uh, moaning kind of screams coming from far out in the snowfield. Um, you guys kept very close watch on the entrance. Um, one of you had a weapon drawn at all times. But nothing else seemed to come into the the tunnel entrance. So, what did you it say about now... spell slots and stuff? Uh, you can use your hit dice to regain spell slots, as oh, with right. the uh, the last long rest. But you guys did not benefit from a long rest. And essentially, you can use one hit dice for one spell slot. Or you can roll it for health. Or you can use it to get a uh, an ability back that you would normally get back on a short rest or a long rest. <clears throat> I... Oh, okay. Got that back. <clears throat> Did I not? Oh, maybe that was for the Bodak. Oh, that was good. Do we still have the temp HP or no? Uh, no. All right. The temp HP is all gone. Wait till after a long rest. Sorry? It doesn't go away after the long rest, right? Yeah. We didn't get a long rest. Technically. You, you did, but you didn't get, gain the benefits of it. Aside from getting a little bit of rest. Although all of you are feeling very winded. Um, and in fact, at this point, I'd like everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. You want one from DeSoto too? Uh, yes. Uh, I need one from, uh... Oh boy. From uh 
I need one from Blue. By the way, guys, to uh, mark your uh, hit dice as used, uh, go into your class on the main tab of your hit uh, of your uh, character sheet where you, it says class and level. Click the magnifying class to the right of that. And then there's a field that says used. And you just put in the number that you've used for regaining spell slots and such there. All right, so. Sinel. Actually, uh, Inun, I need a uh, wisdom saving throw. Uh, okay. You're good. So, Starting off well this time. Uh, Sinel, Yark, and Dusty. Yes. You are having a very hard time convincing yourself to go on. Oh, no. You're feeling lethargic. You're feeling very uh, resigned to whatever fate that the that the Mornlands brings to you. And uh, the rest of you who aren't affected notice that their, their skin, their eyes are kind of sunken back. Uh, their uh, skin... You know what? What skin is exposed uh, on top of the fur on or on scales is very pale, um, almost grayish. And you can see um, Dusty Yark and uh, Sinel's eyes are all kind of dim. Um, doesn't look like there's too much life in them anymore. Silva, you just perfectly described what human rest restaurant industry. Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty used to this, you, I think. You had better believe it. <laughs> resign, themselves to whatever, resign themselves to whatever fate awaits them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can, uh, I can imbue them with a uh, mimicry of life. So, energy drinks and or drugs? Uh, that's just what Animate Dead is. <laughs> oh. But yeah. I mean, you could try. <laughs> Dusty just mutters, Say my name. <laughs> eh. Alright, so. Uh, no, I know what I can do to, um... I can bring out potions that make them more lively. Which potions are those? alcohol you can certainly try uh i'm gonna open my bag and start pulling out too many bottles of alcohol so you guys two, do two bottles of vodka and two bottles of whiskey all right father say my name i need to wake <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know how to role plays Earth. Oh, like, well. this Earth just kind of pats your head. And, no, I. Uh, Anu knows the phrase. I just can't remember it. Oh, does he? Yeah, I remember that. Earth let me try one time. Oh, oh, did he? Yeah. I'll send it to you. <laughs> If you remember it in character, I suppose that's good enough. Yeah. He most certainly does with that uh, perk. Alright, in his um, best impersonation of himself raising dead, uh... And he looks over at Digi, r raising Dusty. his, <laughs> sorry, Dusty, with his paw kind of clenched up. And he goes, rise, Ramus Spoon. <laughs> oh, God. Dusty. It's rise. Dusty wake up phrase. <laughs> Give me a wisdom saving throw. Damn it. <laughs> Nothing. No, Dusty's secret code phrase. The moral lands has overridden even that. <laughs> you're just... You're just... You don't feel it. No, you, you, know, you, know the, you know the word, but you're just... 
you don't want to get up. You just kind of... Mm. You might, mm. you know, five more minutes. It won't I'm hurt. sleepy now. <laughs> Ball's over. Uh, mm. I want to... I'm going to cast Minor Illusion and say <laughs> the same thing, but in Zerth's voice. Oh, no. <laughs> he... Make it a commanding tone. He'll either get up or he'll have a heart attack. <laughs> All right. This will be the last try. Because if you keep just trying this forever, you know, there's really no point. Yeah, really. Mm. But some fuckery is going on. But Dusty is also conditioned. <laughs> mm. But you can go ahead and make that uh, wisdom saving throw again. Oh, boy. <laughs> You you shake your head, trying to shake off this this torpor that's been kind of overtaking you, and this this sense of helplessness and resignation. And you manage to kind of take a hold of your own body again, and you feel a little bit energetic, but you can still feel that the sapping uh, atmosphere of the Mornlands pulling you back down. Notably, he sits up, but he does not. Uh, do his usual somersault and pose. He just looks around and says, I, whoa, uh, hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> when you drink caffeine, but it just raises your heart rate and does nothing to your exhaustion. Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, hello, I, li I live. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, I'm going to drink my hot bean juice. Why? Because I'm tired and that usually helps. What's the point? Silva. <laughs> what? Yark has also worked in the restaurant industry very much. <laughs> yes, he but... He this game too well, even if it's magically based. But this is... something else. This is not just like a personal funk. This is... something a bit stronger. <laughs> Coffee's strong. Okay, fine. Go he ahead. Drink, go ahead. And give me one. He drinks the bean too. juice. Out, the drink. The bean juice out of habit. It's. It raises your heart rate, but that's about it. <laughs> oh, the worst. <laughs> this Dusty is enough looks to... around, confused, wondering what's happening. This is enough to go on. <laughs> he sees Sinnel, and then he looks at the soda and says, oh, "Dog." <laughs> Blue and uh, and Zerth are kind of uh, just off to the side. Just... They're they're standing, uh, packing up their gear uh, and uh, starting to make their way out the uh, out the tunnel exit. Uh, Zerth saying, "We've got to get a move on. We don't want we want to avoid this malady." Oh, in noon. Are they dying? Um, does a noon sense death? <laughs> As a local expert on the subject, uh, do, like an arcana check or something. Go ahead and do you have proficiency in medicine? Um, I'm gonna guess no. All right, no, then I give me an not. arcana check. Yeah. I mean, the Mornlands could be doing a lot of things. This might be one of them, but you're not entirely sure. Oh, I know. We have to surprise them. Quick. <laughs> Make me look like Zerth, and I shall give them the good morning kiss. When they open their eyes and see me, they'll get up. <laughs> um... Dovai, craft Dusty a Zerth mask. About half an hour has passed since you guys have woken up at this point. We should get a move just, on. Just enough time to finish my Zerf mask. <laughs> Why, Dusty though? seems fully Dusty into his own no idea. It doesn't Sinnel's make a difference kind of in the end. And trying to get up. Okay. You eventually manage to pry yourself up from your cold 
and somewhat damp uh, sleeping arrangements. Dusty would like to hoist the ark over his shoulder. Does he succeed in this? Uh, go ahead and give me a strength check. Actually, Yark, how much do you weigh? Uh, let me double check. I think it's 20-something pounds. Yeah, you can lift them up, no problem. <laughs> oh, neat. That's also within my carry 20, weight. 27 pounds. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this you is can... what it's like to be a dad. <laughs> Sit out. Get on my shoulder. Sit out. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Sit out. I'm gonna take your dog. The <laughs> soda fight. The <laughs> soda just right. kind of like trudge over. Desoto, Desoto passed his wisdom save. Okay. Um, it'd be fun. It'd be a lot cooler if he didn't. Let me let me look at his actions. So uh, we should probably get out of here. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll carry the I'll carry our new luggage. Okay. <clears throat> Yark. DeSoto's uh, jaw clamps around your uh, moderately armored forearm. And, uh... He just... Well, he holds on and he starts to, uh... Starts to kind of pull you uh, towards him and kind of also down towards the ground. Oh, like an I've attack got it. Dog. If I'm super... If I'm super depressed, all I gotta do is do what I normally do when I'm depressed. Make millennial jokes. <laughs> <laughs> say, no, no, that, my neck, my neck. Dusty looks back and says, hey, no, mine, this is mine. Stop, stop that. <laughs> well, I guess I have a dog now. With Yark as the leash. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, no, thanks for the dog, Sinnoh. always Sinal. comes back. Uh... Sinnoh is slowly dragging himself up. But he is getting up. Alright. And slowly but surely, all of you can... Well, some of you can uh, drag your asses up out of the uh, relative comfort of a, uh, of a soft sleeping spot and out into the, uh, the bitter cold. Um, do any of you have actual winter clothing? Let me check. <laughs> I'm a lizard. Uh... You can't move, right? It's not like I was moving a whole lot in the front to begin with. I'll leave this up to you, Dova, but, uh... Mm. I don't have actual winter clothes, but Sinnel does have a... The, uh, a cloak made from a bear that is often, you know, bears are often used for winter clothes, so That's up to you suffice. whether that counts or not. I yeah. layer with my chef's uniform. I have two sets of Traveler's clothes for some reason. Alright, so you can kind of layer them. Layers, layers, layers. Alright, uh, I think everyone has enough clothes to not make the, uh, con or, uh constitution check. With disadvantage, I think, so I think my winter oh. coats come in. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of last I checked the calendar, it's kind of the middle of summer. All right, I, oh, I actually know it was getting towards the end of fall. <clears throat> oh, then yeah, I should be puffy. Me and Sinnel. yeah, you guys' winter coats would probably be coming in. Um, so yeah, everyone. Uh, as you all set out, where are you going? The, uh, the expanses of the desert yesterday are now a, uh, a howling arctic tundra. That's the, uh, the light is, the light is, the light is rather dim, and visibility is very low, but, uh, slowly but surely you can kind of get your bearings and find the trail that you were following yesterday, uh, using... Um, 
with you and if you have a detect magic uh, at will. Uh, I'll cast it. All right, go ahead and mark that off, and uh, then you'd be able to find your way back to the trail, no problem. Okay. Hey, Dover. Yeah? Because uh, I don't wear any shoes. As I walk, I'm going to use my... Uh, oh, no, you're not walking. Hand. You're over my shoulder. <laughs> okay. Never mind, then. All right. Although, I guess you probably still wouldn't be moving very much anyway. No, he's cold-blooded. He's cold. You need to save your energy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, which way are you going? <clears throat> you can go back the way you came, or you can continue possibly deeper into the Mornlands. You might be halfway. It's hard to tell. Lead us, Magic Corpse Man! Lead us, Magic Corpse It's funny because I've never actually raised anything yet. You will. You but, just, um... just gotta find the right one. It'll all click then. Um, I'll keep going deeper. All right. Uh, would you be navigating then? Yeah. Go ahead and give me a survival check. I can do that. Because I have many things that should be very good for navigating. Don't bullshit me. There we go. All right. Stopping every so often to dig down a little bit into the uh, rather thin snow at this point. Uh, you find the uh, the pack trail underneath, and uh, every so often the uh, the familiar kind of thrumming of the uh, of the path anchors, as they were. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and roll for encounters. So uh, I'm going to need three d20 rolls. Dibs on one of them. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's fine. Well, you could take the last one. Do better. <laughs> <laughs> well, high numbers aren't necessarily better. Usually they're better, but not always. All right. So. Ah, oh, yes. This could be how much damage we're taking. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now I would like a Constitution check from everybody. Uh, nobody has disadvantage since you do have sufficient clothing. Uh, con or save? Or check or save? Check. Okay. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I'm cold-blooded. This makes sense. Oh, no. <laughs> Soda. What is happening? He's... He's... He's unshod. His fur coat hasn't come in yet. All right, Boy, so you those into of you a with the bank. so Dusty Inun and Sinel, oh and Sinel. Blue, are the are the only ones to pass. Uh, the rest of you been. gain one level of exhaustion as the uh, as the continuous winds and bitter cold snow uh, pelting against whatever clothes you've managed to scrounge up. Uh, saps the energy out of you, especially for those who are cold-blooded, which are uh, Zerth, Yark, uh, That's it. and then uh, DeSoto would fail as well. Uh, his summer, or his summer coat still being quite evident. Uh, Anun's going to ignite his tails and have the ones that are looking the worst come closer to him in the marching order. Dusty marches boldly ahead. Unaware that he's accidentally using Yark a little bit as a windbreaker. <laughs> oh man, this wind sucks. Ah, I shift, I shift my position a little bit and it, it's better now. Ah, I'm so much more comfy now. I wonder why. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yark actually dying. <laughs> Yark is completely silent and unmoving. Right. Maybe I should never... carry DeSoda also. Sinel never gave DeSoto his sweater. How many sweaters have you made for DeSoto? How do I, uh, how do I give exhaustion? Hey. Uh, that's something that we basically just, uh, remember. 
Um, you can just do on the combat tracker though. Uh, just make a, a custom little field. Uh, you can probably use the inspiration ticks because you know we never use them anyways. <laughs> no, because there's not five any levels. Not inspiration of, uh, anytime soon. <laughs> there's five levels of inspiration. <clears throat> Also, Cobalt, I oh, cannot understand you because you sound way too muffled. Oh. Well, it looks like I now have an excuse to open up that snowball microphone. There you go. Yeah, that would probably be good. <laughs> what? I believe it's from uh, Blue Yeti as well, but it's a uh, smaller version. Uh, it's a smaller microphone. You I just bought had this a long time ago. Yeah, I bought it a long time ago for streaming, and I never used it. This is the first time I'm opening it right now. All right, so exhaustion, as a reminder, um, gives you disadvantage on all skill checks and ability checks, I believe. Don't teach my oh. hamster to Ooh. suck eggs. It's a uh, disadvantage on ability checks, so any check. Oh, a moderate. All right. Eisen. Looks like Eisen wants to power up a uh, noon. Do you want it increased or? No, that should be good. Yeah. And again, you can always deny it. So. Mm. So. You are trudging through the snow, and uh, there's a, a break in the wind for a moment as you see what looks to be the one horse the, uh, open sleigh. The snow-covered remains of a uh, of a wrecked carriage. You can see the uh, the spindles of a wheel, uh, kind of poking up out of the uh, out of the snow, um, basically a few feet off the trail. Huh. In noon, should we look at that? Uh, I look over at it for magic. All right. Is your uh, detect magic still going from when you cast it earlier, or are you going to recast it? Um, has it been ten minutes? It's been a few hours. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll recast it. All right, go ahead and mark that down. Um, as you uh peer into it, you do notice a very small amount of magic. Uh, transmutation magic, it seems. All right, we'll just keep going. <laughs> no, we'll sure. go for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty's right. looking at you like his, his new proxy father. <laughs> DM describes the scene thoroughly and with emotion. I ah, will skip it. <laughs> you guys going after the NPCs that I spent <laughs> half a second thinking about? Yeah. Of course. How else will we pick our <laughs> lifelong partners? Each DM other? The DM, de DM described this NPC's fur coat in way too much detail. We need to kill him and take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what a <laughs> great <laughs> coat. There's a goblin named Sam Smiggle. I want to talk <gasps> to Sam Smiggle. <laughs> oh my gosh, the audio quality. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah it sounds like an oh. actual voice. Yeah, it's because I, I I plugged in my uh, mic my new microphone that I just opened. It's so clear. I was uh, checking to see if I had to change the microphone setting, but I guess it just made that the default instead of my headset. Yeah. It sounds so. It sounds like you're right next to me. Oh, does you it, see? Dova? Oh my God, it does. Is that what it sounds like? You can make some ASMR videos. 
<laughs> you see, you gotta. That's the benefit of a. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, benefit of a standalone mic versus a headset mic. Awesome. So should, we, should we start a new fund so people can donate to get me one of those so I can sound like Mickey and Chris Clear Audio? Oh, God. Please, no. <laughs> Don't do that. We're, we're taking donations, guys. No, no, we're not. Yes, we are. We'll take donations, but we're not going to buy the microphone. We absolutely <laughs> are. God. The snowball is a mere. Okay, that's I did... for a lot more than just the microphone. Uh, mine is called Snowball Black Ice. Or yeah. Ice Black. It's not totally obvious. How much did it cost? It's not that bad. It's. Think about, about 50 it. bucks. It's on sale right now. Yeah, nice. See, it's not that expensive. Especially for the quality the improvement that you're getting with it. <laughs> As mm. you've already seen. That's pretty good, yeah. I'll think about it. My face isn't even near my mic. I'm talking to my computer and my mic's off to the side. You should be, uh... For optimal quality, you do want to talk into the mic. But, yeah. That makes it a little too loud, sometimes. <laughs> I would have to probably it's adjust ASMR the ASMR uh... quality. <laughs> I'd probably have to adjust the uh, sensitivity settings if I want to speak right into it. I think for now it's good though. Oh yeah. Especially considering all I did was plug it into the computer and literally nothing else. All right. So, anyways, let us continue. As you uh, as you get closer to the carriage, you notice that the uh, that the transmutation magic signature is coming from uh, somewhere in the main, uh, like the rear cargo area. Uh, would you be uh, brushing away the snow? Uh, yeah. All right. You uh, start brushing away the snow. Um, and eventually you start to unearth the uh, the contents of the cart, um, which at this point is quite a few just splinters and remains of uh, of uh, boxes and crates and uh, various uh, shattered bottles of what appears to be uh, uh, quite a few bottles of wine that have been uh, burst open either by uh, looters or the environment. Uh, however... Uh, Inside the, uh, under the driver's seat, um, you, uh, you pry it open a little bit and you manage to find a small, um, a porcelain tea kettle. And the, uh, you notice that the snow has actually been melted around it slightly. And, uh, grabbing a hold of it, it is very warm to the touch. I uh I hold from Dusty's shoulder. I hold out my hand in like a grabby motion and say, "Let me see." Dusty walks closer. Uh, and then he'll pass it to him. Uh, I'm gonna ritual cast identify from Dusty's shoulder. All right. Do you have this? Do you have the free hands available for that? Yeah, I'm just kind of slumped over Dusty. All right. You uh, basically just balance it on his head as you uh, rummage through your pack for the uh, various materials and necessary components to actually uh, get a good reading on what this item is. Um, and you discover, through a little bit of experimentation and uh, exper er, examination of the contents, which is a very fragrant-smelling, uh, uh, unbelievably fresh... Uh, tea. Um, you're not sure whether it's caffeinated or an uh, herbal tea, uh, but it smells wonderful. Um, it is piping hot. Uh, sadly, there's no cups around. Um, but it seems that the kettle itself is enchanted to keep the temperature of whatever's placed inside. What kind of tea? Uh, I suppose you would know. <laughs> would you take it? Would you take a taste test? 
Yes. Uh, I'll... Uh, do they have little mugs next to it? No. Uh, it seems that there were mugs, but uh, they've uh, been shattered at some point. Maybe during the crash, as you can, you see a few like porcelain remains in the bottom of the uh, in the bottom of the the, the container beneath the driver's uh, chair. Right, well, Dusty my... is slowly growing more excited as he sees this. <laughs> my cook's utensils probably has a cup in it. I'll use like a measuring cup. All right. Uh, taking a little. Tea little bit of a taste tea. test you you instantly feel the actually at this point it would feel like a uh, a blazing hot uh, burning heat on your tongue as the uh, the very hot liquid touches it um, but it uh, it tastes like a a quality steeped uh, green tea um, maybe with uh, leaves that come from Give me a nature check. I'd like some more green tea. Green, green tea? Coffee? Coffee. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so glad one of you got that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they could not. Maybe the, the Maror holds? They might make tea? You're, you're not sure, but it's a green tea and it tastes great. Ooh, I'm gonna steamy. Give some after I drink like quite a bit of it to warm myself up. All right, we're talking quarter of it. Not not a quarter of the pot, like a quarter of the cup. All right, but it you definitely feel the warmth of it uh, kind of travel up uh, through your stomach and kind of into the surrounding area. It's not enough to fully warm you back up after all the uh, freezing cold, but it certainly helps. Can I give Dusty some? All right. <clears throat> Again, green tea and uh, actually, you would recognize this tea, Dusty. <laughs> it yes. actually, uh, it actually grew fairly close to the uh, the monastery uh, up in the mountains. And you remember that there being a uh, a rather sizable patch, um, maybe a mile away from the uh, from the monastery, just on these uh, lonely rocky trails. I know this tea. It tastes like home, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if he doesn't like it, I'm gonna drink a bit more until I feel like I'm not dying. <laughs> Well, since you are cold-blooded and uh, sitting here with uh, with Inun's uh, tail fire and the the warm tea, it definitely feels nice. Blue okay. is looking none worse for wear. He's actually covered in a good bit of snow. Um, basically, just standing around waiting for you guys to uh, to finish up here. Drink your tea. <laughs> Zerth is looking miserable, but uh, he's hiding it pretty well. Oh, well, I give him some tea too. Father. I know that look. <laughs> Drink tea. He uh, he'll take a uh, a small sip of the tea, and then uh, after that he'll take a, and he'll take a, he'll finish the rest of the cup. All nine thousand taste buds. Get, get that right in there. <laughs> That's a 10. Get the cream. That's a 10. You need to find that. <laughs> I'll, Warm it share. Up. I'll share it with people. <laughs> I prefer this edit. <laughs> Is it the hee hee edit? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Get the speed. <laughs> Oh, you already got it. Okay. <laughs> Pure vanilla. No. You have returned. <laughs> Con Badger, thank you so much for the description. I really appreciate it. You are awesome. Thank you again so much.
<laughs> also, I will go ahead and uh, post this in the uh, chat for you guys. There you go, do it. <laughs> all sweeteners. Aerated. For all 9,000 taste buds. Warm it up. Ugh. That's a 10. I wish I could be that man. <laughs> I wish I could be that cool. What conscience. <laughs> Speaking of yard, do you still have that pudding? That what? thing pudding? <laughs> it was in the flask. Oh, yeah. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> Can we open it? Sure. Yeah! I should probably stand back, though, unless... You're unless... on my shoulder. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> because I would just take you with me. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't think you ever put the iron flask... Oh, wait, no. It's... An iron flask, so it's an A at the top. Mm. <laughs> All right, well, let's get on poorly, or it could be great. I bet it's great. But I have an important question to ask Dova. Okay. Creatures you release from the iron flask obey your commands for an hour. Can I just command it to return into the iron flask? Technically, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> I open the stopper. Alright, I'd like everyone to give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh boy. <laughs> and aim it away from everyone if possible. Away from everyone? Yeah, just like, you know. Uh, uh, oh right. well. I don't uh, know then, to... only, then only you, Yark. Great. Well, I'm, I'm carrying Yark, so. <laughs> oh, can Dusty. S oh, yeah. I can't really. Dodge out of the way if I'm if Dusty's holding me. Can we just use Dusty's roll? Sure. Oh my god, it might. What right. is this question? <laughs> Does uh is standing in the snow without any sort of protection? Would you consider that to be cold damage? Um. For extended period of time, if you're barefoot, yes, but Dusty is not. No, it's not for Dusty. Oh, just in just in general. Oh, so like landing on the snow with bare feet or just oh. exposed is that no. cold damage? If it, if it's immediate, I wouldn't think so. I think you'd have to be exposed to it for a long period of time. All right, fair enough. Uh, Dusty. Yes. <laughs> Yark, actually, that dexterity save. Um, Dusty manages to expands. jump very quickly Raise backwards as a out of the stoppered uh, flask uh, shoots a roughly 30 feet by 30 feet wide patch of green slime. Um, there's an acidic scent to the air immediately. Uh, Yark, you were not expecting quite a, a violent reaction from the person beneath you and don't really balance quite right. And so as he moves backwards underneath you, you kind of just uh, teeter forward. Uh-oh. Um, I seem to have lost my grip on my cape. <laughs> and you you land um, with your with your hands just in the edge of the green slime. Dova, I have a request. Okay. Instead, can Dusty just fly out from under me and I do that cartoon thing where I hover in the air for a few seconds before falling? Absolutely. You, uh, oh yes. <laughs> All right, you're going full in. All right. Wait, Yark! Ah! No, curse your superior reflexes. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, hey Vex. Thanks for the sub. Your your hand. Thank you, Creighton, as well your, for the sub. Your hands, oh, hey, knees. Welcome, uh, kind of the front of your legs, um, thankfully not your chest and face, are immediately coated by the rapidly cooling green slime. Um, yeah. At the start of each of its turns. All right, so start of your turn right now. Go and take. Go ahead and take a uh, one acid damage. Okay, I'm gonna jump back and, yeah, real quick. Your clothing is starting to melt 
and sizzle. You can you smell something very similar to burning hair. Leap into snow, face first. <laughs> Don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I do a super strong push up to launch myself backwards into the snow. All right, and you leap back upwards. <laughs> Um, and stop. basically stop dropping and rolling. Uh, go ahead and actually, it's gonna do damage one more time. But rolling around in the snow, like oh, you take nine more acid damage. Jesus Christ! That's one d ten. I tried to save you. <laughs> All right. As you are now freezing cold, covered in snow, uh, the clothing around your knees and your wrists is uh, singed away into a, a kind of uh, itchy goop. The, uh, the palms of your hands and your knees and your feet are very raw. And uh, it looks like the, uh, the bubbling remains of the, uh, the green slime is starting to slowly freeze and kind of stop uh, it's stopping uh, its movement. Uh, I'm going to hold out the iron flask and say uh, Slime Puddle return! <laughs> slime what? Alright, I need to look up the iron flask because I don't know if Do you have the item in your inventory? I do, but it doesn't have all the specifics Okay, I'm just gonna I Google don't it. think I identified it I don't think I I don't think you identified it either, so Well, no, I identified it Oh, you did? That's how I knew there's a thing in it Alright uh, let's see. Uh, once well, trapped, okay. The target is a native to the plane of existence, other than the one you're on. Obeys your commands for an hour. Okay. Uh, it says DC 17 wisdom save or be trapped in the blast. If the target has been trapped in the blast before, has advantage on the saving throw. But can I just command it to return and it not I mean, try to save? I mean, technically, yeah. It's not like it has a whole lot of wisdom to it anyway, I'm pretty sure. Or intelligence. Uh, it's actually got, uh, apparently 10. <laughs> Is it, wait, intelligence or wisdom? Yeah. <laughs> it's got it's 10 a... charisma as well. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Well, it's but it's very... a normal person. I don't know it's if it needs to understand any language or have ears or. Well, if it, uh, if it we'll has say intelligence... we'll say it can understand. If but it has uh, an intelligence of ten, then it should. There's a very unsettling, kind of slurping, gurgling noise as it uh, gets <laughs> sucked back into the iron anymore. flask. But. Uh, you now have the green slime back in the flask, and uh, everything hurts. Also, you're very cold now. I'm going to. Uh... What was that? What just happened? I'm gonna pat the flask and and say, I'm gonna name him Apple Juice. All right. Have tea. Uh, slime is now named Apple Juice. <laughs> I'd also drink some tea. All right. You're about three fourths of the way through the uh, the teapot. I can make some tea if I get a heat source. You need some fire. Someone's gonna that. be sipping some. I mean, Quite my tails bit, are still going. I thought you had a create bonfire spell. Uh, my tails are create bonfire. When I actually use them as fire, it's considered create bonfire. Okay, cool. Well, there you go. I was highly expecting you to just take the teapot and put it over my tail, anyways. Well, it's already hot. Oh, the teapot makes it so that it stays hot. Oh, okay. That's, that's magic, and that's why I'm keeping because it's great. Yeah, my tails are 2d8 hot. That's hot. Ah. <laughs> uh, that's hot. <laughs> I, just like, I just like the edit of him looking at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> See. 
Oh, and now that um. <laughs> You're not going to share with the class? I'm looking for it. Uh, I got it. That's real funny. Or, uh... Where was the one that <laughs> shares to, like, everyone? Just post it on uh, the stream chat, media, media sharing is what I'm looking for. Oh, okay. What is this? Oh, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> that very end, though. <laughs> All right, where were we? Um, so. Oh, hey, Dova. Yeah. I didn't said it was a gelatinous cube. That's what I, that's what I realize now. I don't see through. Oh. Just, uh, misread it. What we'll the? Uh... It also, it's apparently Dusty's, so I give it to Dusty. Right. Oh. Okay. Yeah, wasn't that thing supposed to be for Dusty anyways, the... Iron flask or something? I don't know. Yeah, but Yurt got it, and Dusty and Dusty didn't know. We'll, we'll say that you're fed up. Everything hurts. You don't want the flask anymore. Okay. Yay! I mean, if, you can have a different reasoning if you want, but whatever. It doesn't matter. All right. <clears throat> so, you guys. <laughs> Take a take a few minutes and recollect yourselves. Uh, do you do anything else before moving on? Uh, was there anything else of note there? Not really. Um, digging through the uh, the snow, uh, you managed to find a few scraps of clothing, but uh, but no actual bodies. Oh well, you just assume that I'm looking for bodies. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, that's fair. Yeah. <clears throat> so no other magic around. Uh, not really. That's about it. Other All than right. the uh, other than the trail anchors. I'll uh set us back on course. All right. As you're about, just about getting on the trail. Uh, Yark. A. Mm. You feel the sharp almost pain of a skeletal hand suddenly reaching up from the snow and grabbing your ankle. You look back and you can see the... You can see a skull with a tiny flames uh, in the eye sockets slowly pulling itself out of the snow. You can see kind of the, the bare rib cage and spine behind it shedding off snow as it stands up. You feel a sharp pain as the uh, as the claws dig in deeper, and for the rest of you, Yark just no! kind of stops and stares behind him. Dusty's gonna pick up Yark again. Yark, you are torn away from the grasp of the skeleton by Dusty. Ah, that's better. Thank you, Windbreaker. Yeah, Yuck says, Oh, hey, Anun, did you finally resurrect something? Uh, no, what? not yet. I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Even Dusty's confused. <laughs> are you seeing undead? Yeah, there's a skeleton that grabbed me. We should probably what? address that. Maybe. What? Where? Dusty turns around. Nothing. Nothing but the howling winds and the sweeping snow. Is is it still there? Yark, you look where it was and you don't see anything. I sip more tea. <clears throat> Alright. 
Well, <laughs> okay. I mean, I saw my mother when I was out here. Some weird things happen. Wait, so is my detect magic gone? Uh, it'd still be gone. So I didn't see the skeleton, the magic coming from it. You did not, no. Odd. And you look around for any clues of necrotic energies, but you're not seeing any. All right, and uh, wait, who did it grab? Yark. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> I was gonna say, hey, Yark, do a wisdom check for me. <laughs> Uh, but Anu's gonna be kind of more concerned about this, and he's gonna go back around to where he got grabbed and kind of check the snow. All right. Um, digging around a little bit. Um, you may be about three, four inches down to the snow when you actually uncover what looks to be a a bleached white forearm. Uh, I'm going to grab the forearm and then use it to keep digging. All right. <laughs> it seems that the uh, the forearm and the uh, the the hand barely attached with the ligaments is the uh, the only part of any skeleton you can find in this area. <clears throat> All right. So uh, I'm going to look back at them and say everything's good here. We're all clear. Cell five, and I'm going to high five myself with the hand. All right. <laughs> The uh, the pinky falls off. Uh, yeah, gonna, have fun. I'm gonna gasp. Oh no! He's gonna reach down and grab it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. And then I guess he'll take his place back at the head of the marching order and keep moving them with this hand in hand. All right. Go ahead and give me a survival check. Actually, if it's a gelatinous cube, I think applesauce would be a better name than apple juice. Because they're a little more solid. Mm -hmm. I I thought it was pudding. Well, I mean, you can name it whatever now. Woo! <laughs> you continue on the trail. Um, and just as your detect magic is fading, you think you can see the next anchor in the distance. Um, and as you proceed in that same direction trying to follow the trail underneath. There there comes a point where you think you should have been there by now. And you kind of look around, feeling around in the snow for the hard-packed feeling of the, uh, of the trail beneath. And you're not finding it. And the, the ground beneath kind of shifts from the, uh, um, that hard-packed feeling of the trail to the, uh, the sands of the desert. Kind of a loose, uh, a loose feeling underfoot, underneath the snow even. Oh, okay. So it's it's still tundra, but I'm feeling the sand, not the trail. Okay, I thought you were saying that it shifted back to wasteland. No, it is still a tundra, but you can feel the sand beneath the snow. <clears throat> um. I guess I'm going to have to redo Detect Magic. Alright. Casting Detect Magic. Looking around in all directions, you... Can't see any markers. Uh, I'm going to drink one of my uh, Sierra Madre martinis, see if that helps out. Alright. You, uh, you take a sip and start to look around and notice that the, the landscape is a bit different than what you thought you were going. And as you kind of turn and look behind you, you notice something a bit unsettling. And at, at this time, all of you are subject to this as the winds stop instantaneously. Uh-oh. The light dims a bit. I and, didn't do it. And the temperature drops by a tenfold. It is... Uh bitterly cold it hurts to breathe you can feel your eyes almost drying out and freezing but you kind of look towards where Inun's looking and you see it this these rolling hills 
completely clear air but rolling hills covered in acres and acres and what looks like hundreds or even thousands of acres of fresh bodies is your oh. work up hello mornlands is this a present thank you the the unsettling thing is all these bodies look like it looks like these soldiers just kind of laid down or taking a nap you expect some of them to have their chests kind of rise and fall as they slowly breathe, but you know in the back of your mind that they're all dead. Pudding! <laughs> he, like, shakes his flask a little bit. Pudding! It's time to eat. <laughs> uh, is there anything other than the background magic here? Um... You do notice that there's a handful of magic signatures on the uh, on the bodies themselves, likely from bits of uh, magical equipment, uh, magical weaponry, um, possibly even a spell shard or two. You can sense that sort of uh, that sort of magic and inter interwoven and all that. All right, let's get to work. I'd like everyone to give me a perception check. I don't know how well that came through. That actually hurt. <laughs> Perception check. <laughs> Let's get this bread. Uh, what kind of sense is it relying on? This is gonna be sight. Oh. Or perceiving an object. So sonar. <laughs> sonar would not work. Uh, oh. does my does my detect magic help? Man, everyone's rolling well this time. Uh. This time. No, it would not. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let me see. Uh, no, let us see, please. So, as you go to start investigating the uh, the remains, uh, I'd like everyone to give me a constitution saving throw. Due oh, to my the extreme investigation cold, is much better. Uh, <laughs> I would like to investigate and become stronger. <laughs> if I understand how this poison works, it won't affect me as bad. There you go. Uh. Well, mind over, mind over matter. Well, at least I have my tails. Guys, I'm actually dying. We might need to abandon this at some point. I'm so carrying you. Break. It's fine. Sip some break. more tea. Some... I'm renaming I'm Firebolt to Foxfire. All right. That's fine. So, Yark and Inun. Actually, I forgot to roll for uh, uh, Zerf the Blue. All right. Zerf fails that. That is two levels of exhaustion. Stop. Stop. Uh, Constitution. All right. Blue, blue saves. Not surprising. He's got that plus five con. All right. So, uh, Inun and Yark. The uh, the cold gets to you especially um, for for some reason or another. But uh, Yark, a lot of your uh, warm clothing has been uh, a little bit dissolved uh, by the encounter with that large kind of a. Uh, uh, transparent uh, slime thing. Uh, and uh, and, and Inun, something about maybe your eyes taking in all this kind of drains at your spirit a little bit, and you feel exhausted. Uh, you've got one level of exhaustion, and you take disadvantage on all skill checks. 
Yeah, it's disheartening to me because I can't raise all the bodies. Hmm. Uh, and Yark, your speed is halved. Good thing he is being towed. I mean carried. <laughs> there you go. Mm. All right. Um, somebody roll a d20 for me. Thank you for setup. <laughs> All right. How many cat? Oh, I can't. Remember. Um, I asked Zerth uh, nicely for a cure wound, a quick cure wounds. Uh, Zerth. I'm gonna look at how many spells he has left. May I offer you a potion in these trying times? He's gonna go for it. Yeah, Noon's gonna want some help as well. If he can get it. Doesn't look like he can spare. Did you update Dude. his spell slots after uh, resting or uh, using... He doesn't, um... he doesn't have any hit dice left. Uh -oh. oh yeah, I think he used all of them to heal. Yep. Dusty offers Inun his toy. Uh, I'll take a small nom on it. All right. Yeah. Does that uh, help with exhaustion? It helps really. with health. It helps oh. with health, not exhaustion. Oh, I didn't. Need, I only have two wounds, so. Oh. <laughs> All right. You gain eight HP as he um as he gives you a very reaffirming pat on the back. Kind of a, a manly pat. A man pat. Mandova, you, you have to be careful with that toxic masculinity. Stop it. Alright, so. You know, I think these lambs don't like us. Just a hunch. Uh, Yark. You were kind of looking through all these uh, corpses. I mean, and Noon has been heading to the magic signatures. Mm -hmm. um, and you find a handful of personal effects. It seems a lot of these are completely untouched. Which is kind of odd in its own way. But... Uh, you start finding little trinkets, um, little uh, gold coins. Um, you'd find about uh, about nine Galifars, um, and then like uh, ten sovereigns. Okay. Can I look through these corpses? Can I cut them up a little bit? Are they warm? No, they're too cold. They are um... stone cold. Oh. And Ninja's kind of concerned sentence. about that. There's no decay. Oh, I know. Cold preserves things. It would... It would definitely be frostbitten. Can I, um... Uh, would, Archon, would an Arcana check let me check for uh, gentle repose? Uh, yeah. You can go ahead and give me an Arcana check. Uh, what am I... What does my fatigue do? Uh, disadvantage on all uh, ability checks. So this is a skill, or it's a check, so uh, it would have disadvantage. That is absurd for just one level. Mm -hmm. It's so basically a day without, it's like a day without sleep. Pretty much. So I can't do anything about it. Oh. The, the extreme cold all around you and your, your weariness makes it hard to concentrate. And uh, trying to look for any signs of a, uh, of a spell preventing their de uh, decomposition doesn't really yield much in the way of arcane magic, but you can fathom a guess that it's not natural for them not to be de decomposing. Can Dusty check their quality? Because maybe it's a fake. As the resident corpse butcher, 
I give me an investigation cool. check. Dusty does not believe this meat. I believe this meat. <laughs> they all seem real. I mean, there was one with a kind of a fairly hard skin, um, but you figured that was probably um, something to do with the cold. Maybe that one wasn't affected by the magic as much. Um, Ooh, that's an idea. He'll start pushing the body off the top layer and digging. As you are kind of very slowly making your way through the field, um, part of your cloak gets stuck on something. Kind of near your uh, near your left shoulder. That's kind of weird. You don't see anything. You kind of realize that it's being caught on this tiny, teeny tiny, almost infinitesimal thread. Just kind of suspended in midair. I'm going to tell everybody to stop Tales and of our point it out. Proliferate. All right. And I'm going to, you know, very slowly point it out. Um, my own experience as, you know, a ranger kind of points to, uh, I'm pretty sure it's some sort of trap. But no idea beyond that. All right. Oh, let me look. And Dusty will ping out with his echo location. And see if um, anything comes back. Dusty. Yes. There's a very, very strange sound that comes back. Well, normally when you use echolocation, you, you, you hear a few returns. You kind of get a general idea based on the sound that comes back. But this is a completely empty field. You expect to get almost nothing back, but what in, what you get back is this quiet whisper-like cacophony of tiny little returns. Eh? It almost sounds like you're looking at a cloud. We're There's... surrounded by gnats? Huh? Uh, everyone go ahead and give me a dexterity saving throw. Well, he said that out loud, so... I have disadvantage for this, right? Uh, not saving throws yet. Okay. Uh, can you roll that for me? I'm AFK. <laughs> hey, the bad rolls continue. Just Mine's hold on to me, please. Yark. <laughs> Might as well roll the... All right. On the disadvantage. So, Yark and Inun, as you're kind of walking over just to see what's going on, you also get snagged on one of these tiny little wires. Yark, you're, uh, you step uh, kind of close to a, a corpse's head, and you realize that you can't easily remove your foot from the ground. Like it's stuck. And Inun, you can hear me, right? Yeah. Your your tail gets stuck on something. Inun's trying to carefully follow the what he's stuck on and try and find the source of whatever this is. You mean right. Sinnel? Sinnel. Uh, yeah. Sinnel. What? Is as you, as you, kind of, oh. as you very carefully kind of feel along it, being very careful not to press too hard, else your finger gets stuck. One end very clearly leads towards the ground. And as you are moving, trying to follow the other end, you look along where you think it's going, and you see... And during... This clear sky has very slowly sort of... Uh, the ceiling has very quietly lowered. And out of the fog, about 120 feet up, 
clutching with eight barbed legs is spider well of a sort a spider made of various body parts the uh the ha- the Corpse legs themselves spider! the legs themselves are made of a collection of rib bones spines um and Dover? various uh, twisted and corrupted forelimbs and uh, hands kind of twisted in these obscene, painful gestures. Dova? No! Go ahead. You're fired. <laughs> oh, no, I love worry. it! It gets better. It no! Gets you. you can start, you start to hear this, you know the sound that a, a, a cable under high tension makes? That kind of pinging noise? Yeah. You start to hear that around you. As climbing up from some of these bodies, you hear kind of dry, crunching, tearing noises as some of the bodies themselves kind of break open, revealing much smaller insects. Uh-oh. Insects that are still about the size of your head, nonetheless, but spiders spiders everywhere and some of you are stuck go ahead and roll initiative i sent a thing in the group oh god <clears throat> is there a map for this uh let this me many it. things let's yeah oh wow <laughs> of course the person who is not stuck <laughs> Give me one second to check something here. All right, Aizen, now that you have all those coins, make Anun's fire white hot so we can destroy all of this stuff. Pudding, sweetie, <clears throat> it's time to come down. I mean, I do have burning hands, which essentially is a flamethrower. Basically. Why is this? Oh. Why am I getting pinged? Oh, it's Pinterest. Stop it. Get some help. Where's my images and maps? Hmm. <clears throat> well. Since Will Smith looks at the sun is still in my YouTube search bar, I'm going to watch it again. Fair enough, sir. (laughs) I'm going to watch the other one that you posted. It's set at a uh, specific time point, and it's real good. But yes, that is a Bone Widow from Divinity. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Great uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right, boost. All right. So let's get uh, initiative for blue, as well as Zerth. Oh, multiple Ooh. giant spiders. Lovely chocolate. Oh, yeah. 
Lots of fun. That's number 16. I don't know what you are, but we'll... Okay, there we go. It's the correct one. That's a good, cool name for it. Bone Widow. How about that? Yeah, and at this point, it's idea. still about 120 feet up. Climbing down on these, this invisible patchwork, this field of webbing. Still almost invisible to the naked eye. There is hey, uh, influence, Dova. All right. Also, how do I remove this extra effect from my character? Which one? Uh, the arcane weapon that I had. Uh, you should be able to click on the... Uh... Ah, I found it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I can't remove the exhaustion. No. <laughs> you are unable to do so. But yeah, your speed is halved. And uh, yeah, disadvantage on uh, ability checks. So like strength Dova, checks, athletic, stuff like that. Sorry? Yeah, influence. I gotta look. Yeah. Fair enough. Granted. Say eat a chip. So, Sino, you're up first. Slice yourself free. You said it's just my cloak that's uh, caught on it? Yeah. But it's stuck pretty firmly. And you don't know exactly how many threads are nearby. But I might be able to shoot my bow. Do I think I'd be able to shoot it at least? Uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, which one's closest to me right now? Uh, there's a... Oop, I didn't put the, uh... I didn't put the giant spiders on the map yet. I don't have a map oh, they're the big one. No. Alright. So, there's a, uh, as you look horrified next to you, there is a swarm of spiders emerging from the, um, emerging from a, a soldier's uh, burst open chest. As you can hear the ribs kind of popping and the skin crackling uh, as they kind of pull themselves out, staring at you with beady eyes before crawling over each other in the ground, uh, heading towards you. Do we get to see the map? That's probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. That's a big map. <clears throat> Dova, you forgot to uh, it's scale precise. it down. There you go, it's minimized. Well, then you gotta reshare it after. But we all have to close it. I'm just adjusting it. Oh. oh, it oh. looks like we didn't have to close it because mine just changed. Yeah, same here. You go, okay, reshare it because I got it closed. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay. Well, considering they are right here, uh, I'm gonna shoot at the morning widow, anyways. All right. What do you have advantage? Because it hasn't acted yet this turn, or this All right. combat. This combat, go ahead and uh, roll damage. All 
All right. As the Damn arrow, it, I keep forgetting my hunter's mark. <laughs> as the arrow strikes it, it releases a a baleful screech of anger. Um, the arrow itself uh, embedded into one of the many uh, skulls, uh, kind of making up the uh, the main body of the creature. That'll uh, that will hit. Is it his turn? Uh, when I make an attack, he uses his reaction to make a, an attack as well. All right. Instead of me getting an extra attack, that's how it works for that. All right. If he can attack him, then he's right there. I figured he was close enough either way, but yeah. All right. So... Uh, it does not like you. Let me see. Um, you can hear this creaking, um, cracking noise somewhere within its, uh, within its uh, mass, um, as two bolts made of what appear to be bone. Uh, jolt out of it at lightning speed, but you're really unable to get a good look at it as it streaks forward so quickly. Um, it is a 19 to hit. And that is an also another 19 to hit. You were going to take... 10 points of damage right there, so that's uh, 6 points of piercing. I'm sorry, uh, 9 points of piercing and 1 point of poison. And then an additional 13 points of damage, so 6 points of piercing and 7 points of poison. As it starts to uh, crawl down this invisible labyrinth of, uh, of tightly wound uh, cables and wires directly towards you, Zeno. It's the giant spider's turn. Uh, this giant spider is going to immediately attack DeSoto since it was bitten. Um... That is a 12 to hit. That is going to miss. As DeSoto narrowly dodges a, uh, a lunge from the giant spider's fangs. Alright. The giant spider is going to uh, try to bite Yark since he is uh, attached to the web. Alright, that is also going to miss. Wow, they rolled really low. Uh, it's gonna be Blue's turn. I th think we all know what's gonna happen. Run for- actually, hold on. He's gotta make a dexterity check. And passes readily. With a 21. He's gonna go for this, uh, giant spider. Uh, bringing out his, uh, great sword and swinging twice. The big old folding one? Yep, the big old folding one. It's cool. Yeah. Coolest son of a bitch ever. That's a 10. That misses. That's a nat <laughs> less, one. Less cool. cool. Oh, blue. That's much less cool. <laughs> blue. Blue, no. Mm All right, so can we get a uh, crit card, please? Crit fail. Crit, crit fail. fail. With the melee weapon. Clap, clap. Clap, clap. What are you remember. wearing? Your swing misses its mark, and your arm slides your target instead of your weapon. If the target and is wearing what? heavy, huh? 
Uh, sorry, you cut out in the middle of that one. Okay. Uh, what are you wearing? Your swing misses its mark, and your arm slash hand hits your target instead of your weapon. If the target is wearing heavy armor, take 1d4 bludgeoning damage. Otherwise, I suppose you would do one point of damage. <laughs> because, he, I mean, it is a Warforged. His hand is... He does have hard. pretty heavy hands, yeah. All right. He'll do, uh, he'll do two points of uh, bludgeoning damage. Or sorry, one point of bludgeoning damage. I at least smacks the spider. If the spider was wearing ar heavy armor, then blue would have taken damage, but yeah. Spiders doesn't really have armor, yeah. but a, a thick chitinous shell, though. Not really armor. Uh, Yark, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? It's your turn. <laughs> Wonderful weather we're having. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I love this so much. Um, so what part of me was stuck again? Uh, your right foot. It's kind of caught right next to the heel. Does Zerth look stuck? Uh, Zerth does not look stuck. Okay, cool. He's bringing uh, out his, uh, his Warhammer. I'm going to have to use a spell slot since I still haven't gotten my turret back. But I'm going to throw down a Dragon Breath turret. Alright. forget how I do this. Um, there we go. Did you... Can I? Did you add him to the uh, combat, to the map? Yeah. Please and thank you. Oh, it doesn't have an icon. I know. I. Uh, it's symbolic. It's there. You can draw it on the map. Uh, well. No, we gotta get a. Because it can be a, a picture of like a. While you do that, I'm going to draw the 15-foot cone All right. that it makes. I can't just give it a letter? Come on. There we go. Alright. I'm going to have it walk over here. And he's going to do a flamethrower. Where did you and, start out? Uh, just right next to me, but I can make him move up to 15 feet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to advise Zerf to duck or dodge. Duck or dodge or, you know, whatever dip. works best for you. <laughs> duck, dip. And then uh, I'm going to make sure it hits... Um, I'm going to see if I can lift my foot at all and have it burn off whatever is sticking me and get giant spider 15 and the smaller spider 6. If it? you want to do that, you'll have to uh, to make the same dex uh, saving throw. I know, I'll make the save. Dodge, I dip, duck, get... dive, or dodge. I, hit. I remember how to do this. Well, I guess I just, everyone makes dex saves. Alright. Uh, 13. What's a DC? 13. 13? If I make it, can I just have it burn off the spot without really hurting me too much? Uh, sure. Dex saving throw. That is a three. I hope that was for the spiders. That was for the spiders. Oh, thank goodness. Giant spider ace that though. I don't know if I um, if I described my flamethrower turret yet, but it's a giant uh, dragon skull, uh, like hovering above uh, six little spy uh, crab leg art legs. That's pretty cool. I love it. What game has that? It's a gun called the Dragon's Breath. It looks like a dragon skull. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to remember. 
Well, I mean, there's, uh, there's like shotgun rounds that are called Dragon's Breath. No, I know that. I'm thinking of uh, some video game oh. that it looks sure. like a dragon skull. And it shoots like fire rounds or something. I'm aware of Dragon's Breath. <laughs> uh, maybe Borderlands? That sounds like a Borderlands thing. I'm thinking it might be. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, as a uh, as a wreath of fire uh, fire burns out. Um, all right, dealing seven damage to those who failed, and does it deal half to those who passed? Um, yes, half as much as successful save. All right. And does it unstick me? And uh, it would unstick you. Sweet, and preferably burn away some of the webs in the area. You think so? Cool. That was you my see goal. little bits of uh, of uh, of burning thread in the air, so you reckon you probably cleared, you know, whatever the uh, whatever the turret shot at. Nice. Oop, Zerth has to make it. I was wondering uh, if you made this full save. I got to I got to deal with a lot of stuff today. Next save and the save is 13, right? Yes. All right, he fails. So he's okay. going to take 7 points of fire damage, which he's resistant to, so he's going to take half. Sweet. Also, he's a lizard, so it warms him up. Yep. So that'd be 4. All right. That's going to be the end of your turn, so next up is Anun. Your turn. All right. So where was my tail caught? Um, uh, right on the east of the uh, of the map. Well, time to chop it off. So we'll we'll put you right. And this there. it's caught on web. Yeah, it's definitely and caught the, on web. The fire didn't free itself. It was caught okay. kind of more near the the base. Okay. Zim? Never mind. Okay. Uh, alright. Um, what would I have to do to try getting free? Um, it would be a strength check. I believe. Y you know, you oh. could just cut it off. I mean, you got, what, three or four others? Athletics or acrobatics, <laughs> if you like. Alright, and, uh, would that be taking place of my movement, or? That would be your action. Oh, okay. Well then, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and cast Scorching Ray at third level. All right. Which gives me four, I believe. Yes. All right. So let's see. Do you, do you scorch them rays with your tail? Tail lasers. Uh, do you want me to roll all the attack, all the attack rolls first, or do you want damage, attack all damage, attack. attack damage? Okay. Attack rolls first. One, two. Miss. Three. Miss. Four. Miss. Holy hell! First one's a hit. Very nice. And you notice that the. Uh, any sort of magical fire is doing quite a bit of damage to these guys. All right. Uh, Dusty. Uh, yep. So I, I believe. Sorry. Yeah. All let right. me do that. All right. Sorry. Dusty. Oh boy. Hmm. Swarms of insects, you say? Meaning a swarm of small, tiny bodies, you say? That's true. Time to release pudding. Are you sure? He does not know how to handle it because nobody's told him, but he's right, quite cool. sure. He also knows that exactly this is a good idea. Probably. I'm just glad that I'm further away. So he'll walk over here and start... Pouring it onto the morning widow. <laughs> this is a good idea. 
Uh, it's currently 30 feet above the ground. Also, give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, there it is. All right. Oh, you Dusty starts nimbly... climbing the web. <laughs> I won't. I. I'd say you can avoid the web, but not climb it. Any sort of Damn. contact is very sticky. <laughs> I just sorry. I just wanted to get a little silly because oh no, he is the wind itself. <laughs> But you avoid him very, very well, like a limbo. <laughs> very well, then he shall pour it to his left. All right. Oops, not that. What the? It's time for food. <laughs> Alright, it is right there. Yeah. Eat the spiders. Eat the spider. What a good boy. <laughs> Let me... Does it have any senses? Oh, it does. Okay. Alright. Uh, is that going to be your turn? Let's see. Does he have anything else he can do that would actually be beneficial? Dusty is going to start wiggling. Okay. <laughs> He's imitating just how jiggly the cute his new cube is. All right. The uh, the swarm of insects. The uh, the spiders. All the roughly kiwi-sized bodies with um, kind of gangly, uh, chitinous, barbed limbs are going to... Uh, they're going to go for Yark. No. And they're going to engulf you. The spider? The spider oh, swarm. Oh, I was like, oh my god, what? <laughs> All right, so let me see. Dusty, you need to take this seriously. Stop wiggling. No, things are freezing. We're good. All right, that's a sixteen that is going to miss as uh, innumerable spiders start to climb over you. They can't seem to bite through. Uh, the uh, the coverings which you've kind of made makeshift uh, kind of wrappings to warm you up a bit, and they don't seem to be able to get through that. However, Sino, that one's going to go for you. Dova, I, I yeah. love um, I love medium armor master. <laughs> it's so good. And that's a that's a two. Cool. Soda. Oof. Uh. So the morning window is not on the ground yet, correct? It is not. No, it is not. Okay. Uh, Desoda is gonna step over. Well, no, he'll probably get stuck. We're we're just gonna have him bite. All right, go ahead and roll to attack. Uh, for the purposes of pack tactics, does uh, Desoda get advantage from the cube? No. Okay. He listens to command, but it's not technically an ally. It's <laughs> <laughs> a crit, anyways. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and get the crit card. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. This is what we do. We rip and tear. <laughs> what? Uh, 
Because he has a lot of sayings, but... Well... <laughs> Say them All right, so this is a piercing, distracting jab, quadruple damage, and the target must make a DC 16 saving throw. On a failed save, the target is disadvantaged on attacks for 2d4 plus 2 rounds. If it survives that long. All right, that was a constitution saving throw. Yes. <laughs> Did you, um... All right. Wow. Well, it doesn't need to make it because it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I All am right. satisfied with this turn of events. <laughs> He's so distracted. He's so distracted. He doesn't even realize he died. It's going to be Zerus' turn. He is going to start hitting it with a with his uh, battle axe or his a uh, warhammer. Da, da, da. I'm confused because the only what. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we were his, his warhammer is named okay sure that's the warhammer i think all right cool that's a six i don't know his abilities so i think that's all he can do uh yeah we're just gonna go with that all right as he uh, as he misses his uh warhammer uh i think the flame thrower thrower already went so no, the plane thrower goes on my turn. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Uh, Sinnoh, it's your turn. Oh. God damn it. Character sheet. There. Gah. Um. Well, he's got a swarm right here at him. He's got the Morning Widow coming for him. He's trapped. Uh, what were the rules on uh, swapping weapons again? You can you uh, drop something as a free action, then draw something as a bonus action. One hmm. free interact with object. You said as a bonus action? Yep. What was that? Uh, I bumped the table that was holding my microphone. Alright. He's going to... Uh, he's just gonna try and ignore the spiders and go for the bigger one. That's a nat one. I'm drawing the card. What are you Your doing stance over is off. Make a DC 12 wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, take a 1d6 penalty to your next ranged attack roll. Uh, that was wisdom. <laughs> I am barely okay. But, so it's just yes, a miss. You are very scared. Ah. Uh, well, fuck. And again, the Morning Widow's not on the ground, so DeSoto can't make an attack. So I guess I'm just done. All right. Bye, guys. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> I'm taking your dog. All right. Are you ready? Prepare to clench. All right. So. 
as it reaches you, it slashes out with these two scythe-like limbs made of what looks to be a series of vertebrae, jagged and sharpened. Bop. That's a 20 to hit. That's an 8 to hit, so that's going to miss. And then it is going to bite you. And there's the Whopper. That's an 18. 19, sorry. All right, so. Longsword. Sorry. Scythes. It's five points of slashing damage. And the bite. It's going to be 11 points of damage. Uh, eight of that is going to be poison. And that's about it. Uh, that spider is dead. It's busy being dead. As it uh, as it kind of convulses and uh, jitters um, before its abdomen splits open, revealing more spiders. Oh God. <laughs> Well, as two swarms, distinct swarms, emerge from its uh, its split open um, abdomen. <laughs> Dusty points and repeats his order: "Eat the spiders! Eat the spiders!" <laughs> Oh, it's always hard to grab them when they're on the bottom like that. But I suffer through it. For the spiders. All the spiders. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's this giant what spider's you... turn. Someone in this situation. What would you like to drink? We have we have water, milk, orange juice, or spiders. Spiders? Spiders it is. <laughs> Wait, no, but she was already pouring a brimming glass of spiders. <laughs> We really should have bought something at the spider bake sale. You really should have. Alright, that's an 18 to hit uh, Zerth. With a bite. So that I is uh, three points of piercing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. All right, that is uh, eight points of poison damage. As he's looking rather woozy. Dusty starts looking agitated very suddenly. Woo. Dusty, what'd you command the uh, gelatinous cube to do? Eat, Eat the, the spiders. spiders. <laughs> All right, it's going to go this way. Oh, God, that's just pain to try to click on. Just get rid of the big <laughs> body, then. Fair enough. Where will I know where the spiders come from? Because they're already on the map. <laughs> yeah, but like philosophically. They where came from, from a wonderful cycle of nature, Dova. Fair enough. It is abstract. <laughs> That's a dexterity saving throw to be pushed out. That's a fail. That is a success. So this swarm is going to be choose to not be engulfed. Failed save the cube. 3d6 and is engulfed. That's 26. I hate how I can't see. Okay. No? Three, 
3d6. All right, that's seven points of acid damage. And yeah, that's going to be its turn. Yeah. As it starts to eat these swarms of spiders. Uh, Blue. Fairly simple. He's going to continue swinging. But twice. That's a miss, and that's a 24. For 10 points of slashing damage. Yurk. All right. So I wasn't actually engulfed by the spiders, right? They just tried. Uh, yeah. All right. So I'm. Well, uh... they are. They are currently swarming over you, but they can't bite through your uh, your improvised wrappings. So, like, can I walk away from them, or they would just follow me? They are stuck to you. Mm. All right. Well. Can I spend an action to like try to get them off of me? Yeah. All right, cool. I do that. And can I walk away from them now? Uh, yep. But you will take an attack of opportunity from the giant spider. Oh, jeez. But not from the small ones, right? They can't like latch onto me as an attack of opportunity. I mean, I bet you they can. Let me look at their stat block real quick. Uh, yeah, they could probably bite you as you're trying to kind of push them off and wipe them off of your uh, off of your body. In effect, making an attack of opportunity as you're distancing yourself from them. Sorry, I'm checking the. Uh angles here. Problem. Uh, blue is hurt. Alright, cool. This looks like a winner. This angle. Alright. Um... I'm going to step over here. Right, it's an attack, not, attack of opportunity from the... Small ones, not the big ones. Yep. Not the big ones. That's a critical hit. God dang it. Alrighty. Uh, it would be piercing damage, um, but natural weapons. I don't know if it makes a difference. No, just piercing. All right. Ugh. <laughs> just thinking about how spiders will do this one. A split lip. Quadruple damage and spells with a verbal component have a 75% failing until you are healed. As two spiders crawl inside of your jaw. Free food! Like from. But I'm just getting bitten, I'm guessing. They're already down the esophagus as you feel them crawling around in your throat. Oh, clench. It is clench. It's free food. Disconcerting. Hmm. Spiders. I will turret flamethrowers. Alright. After the quadruple heckin' damage. Me clear crit first. That's another crit. Oh my god! Stop it! Oh, get some help. But it's not a real crit. That's not the real crit. Can I stop? Okay, I stopped critting. Boy, how much health do you have? Uh, I have 16 wounds and 41 total health. I think that would, uh... That probably puts you unconscious, then. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, that's uh, quadruple damage, so... I didn't... I thought that was the quadruple damage, and you were like, really? Nope. 
Wait, no, we uh, we 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 quadrupled the dice, Gova. All right. Or. You are right. I mean, forty one. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I figured I'd be going down. Good night. As the uh, the spiders in your throat block off your breathing, um, causing you to slowly pass out from lack of oxygen. All right, so uh, your turret would still go off, though. Um, and I'll consider, since you are on the ground, <laughs> that you are out of the cone. Well, as the ground lights up, what areas are actually being hit? And I made sure I wasn't part of it. Okay. And um, the same with the Zerth and Blue. All right. But the smallest uh, one, which kind of sucks. It's going to make its deck save. <laughs> Power stone. What? Down in our chair. Oh. <laughs> uh, wait, is that awful dusty pie? Oh, dusty. Uh, Dusty doing the limbo while everyone's freaking out. Because, you know, now is the perfect time to play. <laughs> Pudding looks very small. He's so small. He's so but he's so big in reality. He's big hearted. I, I like, I like a noon's uh, club robe. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. Let me see. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> the uh, giant spider fails its deck save. So go ahead and roll damage for the turret. Power Stone knew what he wanted to draw. Power Stone. That's pretty freaking funny. All right, three points of fire, which turns into six. All right. Enun, your turn. Glad I read that a little bit better. All right, I am going to go for Scorching Ray again at second level. Mark that, so that's going to be three. Hit. That hits. Hit. Hit this time. That hits. Oh, crit. Magic crit. <laughs> hey. Magic crit. Fire crit. All right, so let's, uh, let me clear that. Is there an off button in this microphone? Probably won't be trying or to a mute much. button might be on the side. All right, so let's damage that. Now it's, it, this is just an orb. Spell storm, double damage. Look at that! Huh. Double damage dice. Is that quadruple damage? Oh, double them. Yep. Yeah, double the double, dice. Uh, double the dice. You didn't clear the oh, crit. I did though. You oh, did. Maybe you it, rolled it, a three. It acknowledged the second one. That's odd. I'll take you have the to roll an up. attack on them, and then. Oh, uh... I don't know that. There you go. Why can't I have gotten that one? All right. Uh, that just kind of fell on the board. That was cool. There we go. And that'll turn into a bit more. A little bit more than the four. Mm. Or the eight. All right. Is that going to be the end of your turn? Uh, tis. All right, Dusty. Oh How boy. Are you? 
you know, there's this mean, awful spider over there that seems to be annoying my father. I think I shall take care of it. And he shall punch Giant Spider 15. With a All spear. Right. But that's a weapon! That's what Go makes the a punch magical. Right. Go ahead and give yeah. me a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, Anoon just sorry. added... I think that's a dexterity check. Anoon added nope into his incantation, oh. and that's where the crit came from. Uh, yeah. Dexterity saving throw. As you make your way through the webs once more. <laughs> I imagine the spider is at this point starting to get annoyed, like, Come on, stop, stop that. <laughs> mm -mm. Like, you were so rude. <laughs> I put all my time into making that, and you're ignoring it. <laughs> ignoring what? Go ahead and roll to attack. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that hits. Stop. Wow. Alright. As it starts to curl up and die. Can he continue to stab it? Yeah. Go ahead and roll to attack. He With advantage, because to... he can't really dodge at all. True sure enough. He's going to continue stabbing the body because he does not trust it. There's something coming out of it. I bet you anything. And I'm going to kill them inside the body. Alright, that hits. Alright. Does he stop? And I suppose that'll be his turn. <laughs> Alright. Oops. Um. It's, uh. It's insect swarm time. Oh boy. Which one? Uh, there's a few. As, uh, this one seemed to be a little bit more swollen than the other ones. As, uh... The sw swarm's got a fat lip. Exactly. <gasps> more spiders! Oh, God! Yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot of them. I knew as the, it. Uh, as I the giant spider there were spiders splits in open, there. more spiders coming out. Uh, us. So, this one's going to immediately try to swarm over you, as right, is this right, one. Right. Actually, no. It's going to be like one on one on everybody. Everyone gets oh, a spider. Gosh. Everyone, well, you get a spider. Yark. Everyone Spider. Your life turret's gonna be super good. Alright. It doesn't work because I'm not conscious. Yep. Oh, they get advantage because, you know. All right, they don't seem to uh, incur any death saving fails from you, Yark. Somehow, they even though they, uh, even though they crit Dusty. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. And you get a plus three. They rolled a twenty. All right, let me draw uh, the card. It's another crit deck for piercing. Oof. Poke in the belly. Quadruple damage. Is this an enemy crit oh, or is this a player crit? It's a this Carl is an enemy one. Side. Okay. One sec. Your one second has expired. Please insert more change to continue.
That is all. About that. Oh, hey, I have donuts. Oh, hey. Look at that. All right, so what does a crit do? Poke in the belly, quadruple damage. All right. So that is going to be 12, no, 16 d4. Good Christ. Good Christ. Oh, I think that's it. Oh, five, six. Right. I think I did that wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 15, 16. Alright. This could kill the bat. <laughs> oh my god, I just misclicked it. Actually, let me clear the crit first. That's another crit. Stop, Dova. Now you know how I feel. Now we know how you felt in the last game. It's been... Several sessions since then, Nova. <laughs> All right, that's uh, 35 points of piercing damage. I'm guessing that hurts. Ouch, my blood. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and the rest of them don't hit. Soda. <laughs> oh, look, Dusty Osmos, everyone's bad luck. <laughs> Is the Morning Widow on the ground now? Uh, yeah. Good. Fucking bite the bastard. That hits, right? Uh, that'll hit, yeah. Ugh. Not enough. <laughs> DeSoto needs to change uh, his bite to something like Tooth Snuggles. There you go. That's I, a. I give him Tooth Snuggles. All right, uh, Zerth is just gonna start fighting off the uh, all the spiders. Why is Zerth not healing people? That's a great question. Because he doesn't have a lot of spell slots. He's going to move right here, and he's going to cast Healing Word. Sorry. Uh, Cure, Cure Wounds. Wound. Cure Wounds is a second level spell. What? Oh, at second level, you mean? Yep. Okay. All right, Yark, you have 10 HP. Oh, thank God. I can speak I think you can. I think you can do something as a bonus action. As long as it's not a spell. I think he can attack as a bonus action. Can he? Mm. Pretty sure. Hey, Dova says he can. Uh, wait just a minute. Make one. Oh, no, he didn't make the attack action. Can he also move out of the way of the flame turret? Without provoking? Uh... I don't know if you can split up your movement like that. Yes, you can. You can? All right. Yes. Yeah, you can. <laughs> He'll move back to where he was. All right. <laughs> so, no. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? In ya? pain. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Sinol's going to cast Cure Wounds on himself. Alright. Uh, at second level. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? No. 
All right, cool. Um, it is done with the soda. All right, that's going to be a 12. That does not hit. That's an 18. And for the bite, it is a 22. I think two of those hit. All right. That is a uh, thirteen points of damage. All right, and that is it. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was it. Uh, what's the gel in his cube doing, Dusty? Eat spiders was the right. only order he gave it. <laughs> That's what it's doing then. Just like do the sixty-six damage. You know, whatever. I don't think it's gonna survive sixty-six. Yeah, as it eats the uh, the swarm of spiders that was uh, in engulfed by it. By the way, there's a lot of spiders. Don't don't know if you knew that. Yeah, it's a lot of spiders. <laughs> a lot of spiders. Um. Whoever goes up next, blue. Attacking the spiders. Wherever the frick I put his character sheet. <laughs> There's so many character sheets in my screen right now. He's trying his hardest. Don't slap it this time. He's doing well. I said he's doing well. Alright, that's... That's fine by me, Yark. You are prone. Um, you feel an intense, uh, prickling, uh, very painful kind of jabbing situation going down uh, somewhere in the back of your throat. Um. Hmm. That would be the best course of action. I mean, I have two actions. We're going to have some tea. Um. Is there any of the hot tea left? Uh, yeah, there'd be some of it left. There's about gonna... one fourth of it left. I'm just gonna drink it right from the spout. All right, as my action. Your mouth is now thoroughly burned and starting to go numb. And that sort of uncomfortable, um, kind of gritty sensation. That's fine. It won't. Uh, it won't last forever. I'm used to this. All right. <laughs> And um, I guess Is your flame action. turret going? <laughs> that was my action, right? Yeah, that would have been your action. Um, I don't want to burn myself with the flame turret. This is the thing. But spiders. Yeah, okay, good point. So let me just... Uh, let me find the crispy angle. Hmm. <laughs> little more how's that looks great i think it's all the spiders right uh yeah that would get all the spiders that would also get uh you blue Why and uh, just dusty me, just me and blue oh and dusty uh yeah he's very slightly in the range well his his uh, space isn't dark is it Uh, 50 feet keep originated from that spot. Right One, here. two, three. That would uh, that would put him in. Just barely. Just barely. Because nope. okay, well, it's, it's three diagonal already. spaces away, which is 15 feet. Oh, Don't okay. worry. I'll be fine, probably. I hope so. 
Where's my thing? Alright, I guess deck saves everyone. Alright. Let me see. I need four spider deck saves. Oh man. Damn. I'm I'm pretty good at that. That's okay. Luckily you're you're not gonna be going down. Are you sure? Alright, so <laughs> then Dusty, that would be a this so that would be full damage and none of the spiders succeeded. It only does one D eight. Oh. Roll it on all of them. On usually everyone individually? That's what, usually that's what we do because it makes it easier on... Uh, I can Dova. take care of it. Okay. okay. 16, 7, 25, and 1. And then can I move only a little bit? Uh, where to? It's back right. there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You'd be able to do that, spitting out some of the uh, the spiders that crawled down your throat. Hopefully, that end we're dying. Oh yeah. Uh, you crunch them up a bit before they before they got out. Hopefully, the hot tea burned them. Yes. Guy, the ones I couldn't spit out. Mm. All right. So, uh, did you take the uh, damage, Dusty? I've not. Three damage. Right. Three. Yep, three damage. I have now. <laughs> there you go. I take two, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> The HP, the wounds tease me because when I hit three, it was only three for a second, so it was bright green mm -hmm. instead of dark red. And then, your turn. All right, I'm going to um, keep up the nope thrower because it has been working pretty well. All right. All right, and let's let's go back to third level. So we got one, two. Three, four. You know, guys, right. maybe after hit. this, maybe what? after this next dragon shard, two of those hit. Wait, eighteen doesn't hit. Eighteen does not hit. Jeez. All right. Wait a minute. Oh my. We got that sucked. Nope, don't. I didn't mean to do that. And that. All right. Points, very nice. As uh, large parts of it are burning now in uh, in magical flames. All right. All right. Is that the end of your turn? Um, I'm gonna wiggle my tail. Try to get All it right. out. Of, try to get out of the web. Uh, that'd be an action to actually remove it. Oh. <clears throat> uh, Dusty. Hi. How are you? Bleeding. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about right. Well, time to go ham on these spiders. All right, the ones uh, crawling all over you and biting you everywhere. Yes, those ones. I'm going all to get right. my blood back from them, even if I have to eat every one of them. All right. So these are Swartex 1. I don't even know which one that is in the tracker. Uh, that this would be one. 1. Yeah, just roll on the icon. Oh, okay. Like, uh, yeah. Hey, Zen, do you think SpongeBob is too copyrighted to uh, clip you know, as a voice clip on our screen? 
I can't. I probably can't use my spear on these. Uh, keep in probably mind, not. Cobalt, that if you're talking, you gotta talk into the mic. Right. I'm still not used to that. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll also preface this that he's using flurry of blows, even if it's overkill. So incoming four punches. Do you think SpongeBob is too copyrighted in order to clip and have his voice thing on our stream? Probably not. Because I love, I would love the hi. How are you? <laughs> and maybe, so... maybe even the wonderful weather we're having. Be so many good SpongeBob ones. Hello. Uh, that hits. Sorry. Neat. Alright. It's like you are finally face to face with the bandit it's... leader. What do you say? Well maybe it's because you're ugly. <laughs> Alright, that would uh that would manage to kill the spiders. Oh my god, that's a death! <laughs> Barnacle head. <laughs> I've come for your pickle. He's not done with these. He said he'd get his blood back from them. <laughs> the, the hash ringing. The mash ringing. Too bad he cannot attack more spiders. No, that going to be your turn? No, it's for well, Ratu. I mean, <laughs> I guess he didn't actually get to use his flurry of blows. Well. He scatters them to the winds. <laughs> Yeah, you demolish Next. those spiders. All right. It's all the insects, uh, the spider swarms turn. Da, da, da. Da. All right, that is a 16 to hit. What's the soda's AC? Uh, did not roll it on him? What was it? No, I forgot to roll it on him. 18. 18, so that does not hit then. As the spiders start to uh, crawl all over him. Alright, and uh, one for blue. And one for Zerth. That's a hit on blue, that's a crit on Zerth. Oh man. Spiders, don't you dare! Spider. <laughs> oh shit. Don't, don't you rat. fucking dare! Alright. A crit, you said a crit on Zerth? Yep. He's gonna love this one. A new scar? Not the face! You receive a permanent scar on your face. Oh! Oh my god! He does love this one! Damage? Normal damage. From spiders, though? Yeah, it would probably be like of, two tiny cool. pinpricks, but... A lot of, a lot of yeah. like, these are more like scorpions. Not yeah. like, but like big bites and pinches and stuff like that. I got this for fighting spiders. It's Zoda's turn. What's he doing? Uh. Well, we got the big one right here. But he's also swarmed by a bunch of them. So. Uh, can he move here? Uh, yeah. Alright. Oh man, if it, like a <clears throat> nat one on a survival check. Yeast, I thought you said weast. <laughs> Alright. He's Just biting at as many of these spiders as he can. Very crunchy. Alright. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be Zerth's turn, and he's going to try to kill the spiders that are attacking him. We got more art. Ah, oh, sweet. Yeah, I, I thought. Check it out. Oh, you'll like this one, don't you? <laughs> 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 
Spiders. <laughs> spiders. Dying on the inside. This entire encounter just spiders. <laughs> spiders. That is a hit. And he is going to do his attack again because he can do that. And I forgot he could. Please, please roll the attack. Please clap. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, cool. As he uh, continues to attack the spiders, he almost gets the swarm killed. But it seems to be very, very strong in numbers. As it is continuing to swarm over him. Sinel, how are you? Your turn. Hi, how are you? Ugh. Uh. Hmm. Well, only one thing for it, really. He can't really use his bow in close range, so he's going to drop the bow and pull out one of his uh, short spears. All right. So that would be a bonus action to retrieve the uh, short spear. And that will miss. Oof. But, yeah. but, DeSoto gets an attack. All right. That's a miss. Oh. Extremely tough chitinous armor covers the entire thing as it moves in for the kill on DeSoto because it is tired of it. That's a 22. That's a 10. That's a 10. And the bite is a 18. Is a short. That is max damage for that, so 11. And then the bite. That would put him over the top. As he is unconscious, poison flowing through his veins. Yes, sir. Who was this? Uh, that was DeSoto. No. Wait. Eat um, big spider. Now here's the question. The no, cube was I told, know it. I, the cube yeah. was told to eat spiders, and spiders are currently swarming all over DeSoto. Well, I just oh. said, like, oh, is would I have to have given it a command on my turn? Yes. I, oh, okay. Oh, too late. Hmm. I take no responsibility for that. <laughs> I need to I need to check something real quick. You said it was it followed my commands, but it was not an ally. Now would it go for all the little spiders or would it go for the big spider? I think it's I mean the, the little spiders are closer to it, but either way it's gonna be going through DeSoto space. I did say spiders plural. You should probably well, True. there are multiple spiders. Hey, actually, it could get both. It could get literally all the spiders to move one space over. Also, that's true. Perhaps next then turn it would get most all spiders. of the spiders. Perhaps next turn might be a good idea to uh, recall pudding. Probably. All right. So, um, he already he automatically fails his uh. Dexterity saving throw because he's unconscious. 
Oh, so, so it doesn't brought in. Yes. Larger or smaller? Oh, wait a minute. What's up? The large spider is, well, large. It cannot be engulfed? It cannot be engulfed. It's larger than the cube? It's as large as. Let me... Oh. I need to... It can enter large or smaller creatures' spaces. So uh, spiders are going to make a saving throw. So it can, so it can enter the big spider space. Um, large or oh, never mind, large or smaller. Okay, so it can get the big spider. Yeah. Can it be slowed down at all? Because it might be getting. Wait a minute. Uh. Oh, no. Give me the roll, please. That's the number. You dangus. <laughs> As it gets caught in the web. Right about... Right about here. I didn't even know we could do that. I mean, technically, he was supposed to be uh, making those dexterity saves the entire time, but... Well, wouldn't it just, like... We'll let the web flow through it. Yeah, it's it's, it's semi-solid. It moves through things. As it much as I would like to soda sur to survive, I mean, realistically, this thing is basically pure acid. Fair enough. That's just true. Uh, small spaces. All right. So, the creature immediately takes three d ten. Or er, ten, so three d six acid damage. That's immediately one death saving fail for the soda. Oof. Um, and the spiders was twenty four, and it would actually go just full on in. Oh boy! All right. <laughs> okay, now we're we're getting somewhere. Worried cheering. Instead of. Because everything's just happening. Dexterity uh, saving throw DC is 12. It got a 13 because it gets a... Jesus, that's a big saving bonus. Holy crap. As it skitters to the side. And a dexterity save for these guys. They got a 2, so they're in it. And they're taking 3d6. Uh, me. There we go. Alright. As it starts to eat away at the spiders. And to soda. Uh... It's his turn. Uh, blue. He needs to get these spiders off of him, like, right now. They're crawling into all of his circuitry? Isn't that... Well, okay, sure. His vines and little weird growths. All right, as there's only a handful of spiders left attached to him. Uh, Yark, buddy. Yes. It's your turn. Sweet. Let's see. Everyone is being attacked by spiders, so I can't shoot my flame turret anywhere. Can I shoot anyone with anything and not hit them? Uh, I'd say since they're sharing the same space as them, technically, I just keep them to the side so that it's easier to click on them. Okay, well, I'm going to step over here and I'm going to shoot Morning Widow with Firebolt. All right, go ahead and roll to attack. I'm going to try to speak into the mic a little better because I have to be quiet. No problem. 
Oh wait, I get advantage. That's a hit. That. Very nice. That one did quite a bit of damage. Sweet. The fire seems to be doing really well. Oh, it was 2d10. I hoped it did a bunch of damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, turn? let me see. The question is, can I move this in such a way where I won't hurt people? Okay, so that doesn't hit Sinnel. And it doesn't hit a noon. Perfect. One, two, three spaces. A flamethrower. Alright. Since it's just one creature, I can just drag the uh, the save onto it. Okay. Uh, it succeeded. Okay. Will it automatically have the damage, I'm guessing? Yes, it did. Okay, cool. Neat. And that's my turn. All right, cool. And in. Hi. Your turn. All right, let's go again. I, must, I don't think I have anything that lets me do bonus actions. I would have loved to raise one of these bodies to give me another turn, but it takes a minute to cast Animate Dead. Which is, if anyone's wondering why I hadn't. Alright, so... <laughs> one... Two... Come on! Holy hell! Well... Alright. Yep, all three of those missed, unfortunately. Uh, bouncing off of... Uh, it's intensely dense. Hate in this armor. Dusty. Me. You have ten. I have ten. Oh, temporary hit points. Sorry? I have, you, I have ten what? It's your turn. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dusty will yell, no, 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 eat big, spider, big, big bone. <laughs> the, uh, the cube looks at you questioningly. That Just one. jiggles a little bit. That one, that one, that one right there. You can see it start to, uh, slide on the ground towards the one that you're, uh, pointing at. Okay. Dusty will move over here. <laughs> All right. Start punching the spiders off of his auto. All right. Go ahead and uh, we'll say the bonus action was uh, commanding the cube, and you can use your action to punch spiders oh. or pluck spiders off of him with punch. Motions. All right, that hits. You should have uh, one more attack, but no bonus action strike. That's fine. <laughs> Which one is that? Number seven. That hits. Both of those hit. Attack! All right. As you begin to uh, pluck spiders off and crush them in your hands, a lot of lot of nice, satisfying crunching noises. Uh, it's all the uh, insect swarms' turns, um, and the insect swarm inside the uh, the blob is probably just going to immediately die. That would be that one. Yep. As it uh, dissolves. Swarm insects. So the one on blue is going to attack, and the one on Zerth is going to attack. It's actually going to jump onto you, Dusty. 
Oh no! How can I foresee this? Oh my fucking god. That's a critical hit. And that's a hit Why? on blue. Why did you take my bonus action? Taking is a free action. Oh, does it say it's a free action in the uh, Iron Flask? No, because I never got it as an item. It's not in my inventory. Oh. So I never got to look at it. I just assumed talking is free, because it's always been free. <laughs> you can... Uh... Fair enough, we'll say that it wasn't a... Uh... That it's a, a free action. To command it. Well then. <laughs> All right, you ready for the? Uh, Hold on, card? I might kill these. <laughs> you, you, we'll find what out. Would you yeah. have, what would you have allowed me to use flurry of blows like he wanted to do it himself, but he killed them too fast? You can, yeah, you can use your flurry of blows. Get off! Get off him! This instant! Hit. Alright. You get one more, or is that it? Hit. And this is the last. Okay. Alright. They are still alive. <sighs> Damn. So close, but I did my best. All right, so crit card. The thighs uh... have it. Your speed is reduced by ten feet until you finish a short rest. All but right, I'm damage. gonna die. <laughs> yep. You are now unconscious, Dusty. <laughs> The swarm of insects is going to. All right, blue is somehow still alive. Uh, it's Desota's turn. Uh, he is going you know, to really take a death saving fail from being inside the slime, and depending on how much damage he takes from this, this might be enough to just. No, it would not be. But that's a uh, death saving fail immediately from taking the damage. And then uh, go ahead and give me a death saving throw for him. Alright, that's a success. Hang in there, dog. <laughs> Alright, it's uh, Zerth's turn. Because I learned something very interesting. Yeah? If it eats the big spider, it can only eat the big spider. There you go. So it has to spit everything else out. Smart. It's gonna he's gonna hold on to that uh that third level spell slot for an obvious reason. Just use a potion. <laughs> All right, he's gonna he's gonna cast Toll the Dead on those spiders. Actually, no, he's gonna do two attacks because he's uh, he's actually smart. And he's gonna hit that. He's gonna hit. Uh, he's gonna hit that. There you go. As the spiders which are swarming over you are now fully dead. As uh, as Zerth picks off the remaining ones and squashes them beneath his feet. Angle. Hi, Sinnel. Sinnel is going to ignore the Morning Widow and come over and pull the soda free. All right. Da -da -da. Can I also throw a cure wounds on him or no? Uh, give me one moment. I know you can pull out. Hmm. 
<laughs> uh, go ahead and give me a strength check, and it uh, will require your uh, full action. Okay. All right, that is a success. And you take 12 points of acid damage for your efforts. All right. You have your bonus action remaining. Uh, bonus action Widow's will turn. be uh, drawing my other short spear just in case I need it. All right. It's going to go all out on Inun. Oh, God. Shit. That's a 13 to hit. That's uh, a 20 to hit. I wanted to cast shield. All right. What does that make your AC? Uh, if I remember, uh, makes it 15. Makes it 15. That first one does not hit. The second one still does. All Here right. comes the bite against a 15 AC. That is a 17 to hit. Live in it. Live. All right. That is uh, eight points of slashing. And now here comes the bite. Stop it. For four points of piercing and 11 points of poison. All right, it's the gelatinous cube's turn. Holy hell. <laughs> I only have two points left. And I can't move. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move him to the side just a little bit, just so I can. Oh yeah, target it, him. It probably shouldn't completely encompass him, so we can still attack the spider without attacking the cube. Uh, it seems I, to be. Uh, I think it to have it a has mind to. of its own. Oh, I thought he could command it. I I could, but I'm also down right now. Oh okay. All right, it succeeded against the save and does not have to follow it. So it's just going to be pushed out in this direction. However, it can still use its pseudopod to attack. And that's a 23 to hit. And that's four points of acid damage. That's... That's raw. That's pretty peddly. That's 3d6. A one, a one, and a two. All right. But he's trying. Uh, did the spider roll disadvantage on that check? It did not. Why? Uh, things that move that it moves onto space have disadvantage on the rolls to be pushed free, according to Eisen. Wait, really? Yeah. When the cube enters a target's space, they roll disadvantage on their dexterity save or a dexterity roll. According to uh, I can check monster. Uh, Whenever on, the cube uh, enters a creature's space, the creature must make a DC 12 dexterity saving throw. Oh, uh, maybe it's because of who is cube. Oh, where is it? Go. Yeah, no, I would not be able to do the disadvantage thing. It would still roll without uh, disadvantage. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, five feet are to the side of the cube. So it can be... It technically be pushed out this way. All right. And it uh, attacked with its pseudopod. Yeah. It is a uh, blue's turn. Time to kill these spiders. As is the theme of the game. That's a hit. That's a mess. Are you kidding me? It's still alive? 
You're the one that All made right. this thing. I didn't make the creatures. Okay, Derek, you're you made it exist in the game. Oh, I that's found it. That's true. Uh, Delva, I found it. It's the ooze cube trait. The cube takes up its entire space. Other creatures can enter space, but the creature that does so subjects the creatures engulf and has disadvantage on the saving throw. If it engulfs it entirely, it has disadvantage. <sighs> Other creatures uh, can enter the space. So if they enter the space, oh, then if they, do they enter the space. Yeah. When it tries to enter enter another uh, creature's space, then it doesn't uh, get disadvantage on the saving throw. Um, okay, I guess that clears it up. Your arc. Remember, you have uh, you have uh, half your speed. Yes, I only that's only three spaces, right? Yep. One, two, three. Uh, firebolt. All right, go ahead and roll to attack. That is not going to hit, unfortunately. One, two, three. It's going to move over here. I think I can get just the widow. Fire. Uh, all right. Go ahead and roll on it. And then I'll just go ahead and roll damage. All right. Has it uh, passed saving throw? Yeah, sorry to do the damage. All right. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Inun, hi. Oh, hello. Hey, what's up? I think it's All your right. turn. All right. Can you uh, guess what I'm going to do? What? Uh, nope, thrower. All right. My last time... One. Hit. Sweet. Two. Oh. Miss. Three. Miss. Great. All right, that hits. Very nice. It uh, it seems to be barely holding itself together, um, as multiple ligaments and muscles are have been uh, cut, uh, burned away in the. Uh, the uh, attaching points to the uh, the bones are just uh, completely empty. Um, these ligaments just kind of flapping in the wind as it uh, as it goes through the motions. Uh, Dusty, I believe, yeah. unless you have something else you'd like to do on your turn. I'm unconscious. Yes, uh, anyone? Uh, no, that's it. All right, go ahead and give me a, a death saving throw. Oh boy. That is a fail. I am perishing, father. <laughs> I perish. Follow me on Twitter. Behold. Well, Behold it looks it. like Power Stone's gonna riot. <laughs> the natural one on the spiders. I don't think... I mean, if you want to get a crit card for him, go ahead. <laughs> All right, could you give me a death saving throw for DeSoto real quick? Mm. That's okay. Zerth was saving something just for this moment. As the light in your companion's eye fades, a, a stunning cold comes over his chest. That's it. <clears throat> if Zerth can't help, I can. <laughs> Stay oh, out yeah. of this. <laughs> God? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Zerth is going to immediately heal Dusty. 
And since it is from unconsciousness, max health. From the healing spell, that is. You don't oh. not go up to max health. That'd be incredible. Wait, he's a grave cleric? He, he is. is. I didn't know that. Grave clerics are the best. I know, they're great. I would have been great if he if I knew that when he when the spider crit me because they can negate crits. Oh wait, he can. Yeah, that's good to know because <laughs> I didn't know that. Right, because it's not your character. Is he? Grave clerics can negate negate crits, and they're uh, no, divided. I, I, I'm trying to remember if he is. Check a grave on cleric. the abilities t uh, on the abilities tab. Pretty sure he, he is. It would listed be on, it would be listed under features. Never mind, he's not. Oh man. Oh. Which is, what kind of cleric is Oh Zeal. He's a Zeal cleric mm. from the uh, Amon Cat right. expansion. But uh, he's gonna heal you anyways with the second level spell slot. Did I already click second level? There's so many windows open on my screen right now, guys. I don't think you have. Or I think you have, because you looked at the spell. Cure wounds, unless there's a different. Okay, no. And cure wounds. Two. All right, you're up with eleven. And uh, death saving, death saving fails. Do not reset until you get a long rest. Okay. The benefits of a long rest, I'll have you know. Yeah, I uh, figured. Sinnel. He is going to stand up. Cast Zephyr Strike. And kill this fucker. Go ahead and roll to attack. It might apply automatically. <laughs> How do you what want to kill it? Uh, and oh. then there is his second attack with advantage. Second attack misses. But you don't need that second attack. Do a glorious plunging attack. I want to see what the crit card gives me first. Just to see how much I kill this bastard. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. Life-threatening one. Press the advantage. Quadruple damage, and if this was a melee attack... You may make a DC 16 strength athletics check to increase this to quintuple damage. Go ahead and make the athletics check. Come on, please. Damn. Damn. Oh. Still. Well. He is going to use his spears to climb up this thing sit on its back and just slam both of them in in the same spot wherever the hell its potential head might be. Actually, better yet, he's going to slam it into its mouth. Probably All the right. least protected spot. As it uh, as it rears back, uh, aiming towards you, actually, as you charge up at it, the, uh, the large kind of pinchers um, in front of its mouth open up and you can see the... Uh, about yard long uh, jagged looking needle that it's been biting with um, and you basically stab upwards directly beside it um, there's a uh, there's a loud crunching noise along with a, a shrieking kind of wail um, as it uh, as it cries out in anger uh, pain and then finally death There's a, uh, uh, there's a foul odor as it uh, lets out its final breath. Um, that group of spiders has like one health, so it, it's just dead. Don't, don't, basically, don't even worry about those spiders. Yeah. 
as the uh, as the blue just smashes the rest of them. Uh, Sinnel, you might want to get off the big bony spider. He will get off going back over to DeSoda and gently picking him up. All right. As you very gently manage to get him over your shoulders. The uh, the corpse of the of the mourning widow uh, convulses for a moment before the the legs all kind of turn up and uh, curl into themselves uh, with a with a kind of a hollow uh, crunching uh, groaning and creaking sound. Eat. No Eat spiders spider. though. Eat dead spider. Gelatinous Cube was already going before you said. As the uh, as the cube starts to consume the, the spider. Oh, I wanted bones. Uh, well, okay. Uh, Noon's going to cast Create Bonfire on his tail to free himself from the web. All right. <clears throat> Hey, Yark, how did you do it? How did you get it in here again? And on that note, it is time for us to end. Uh, we need Zerd to revive Doggo. Revivify Doggo. Uh, Revivify, I believe, takes like a thousand gold piece gem. Three hundred. Three hundred. Revive well, him for 25. Money. I don't know if you can bargain like that. What? I don't know if you can bargain the uh, cost of a spell. Power no, stone I stone have my own ability to revive him. Oh, oh. okay. Uh, Dova, what is the roll again for you to... Uh, when we need a particular uh, set of materials, do we just have them if we've got the money, or do we actually need to get somewhere to be able to buy them? Um, depends on the materials, I'd say. Like, because uh, it it's just a, it's says a... uh, rare herbs and fine food. You would need to actually purchase that in a place that would have it. Because this place... Yark probably has it all does. on him. He might. He does have food. I do have food. And instruments to make food. I mean, he probably has... He can make the good food and he has that spice pouch. For the herbs. We'll figure that out next week. For now, though, it is time to end. Boy. Thanks, everybody, for coming by. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Oh, boy. It was a great time. We fought spiders, and more spiders, and we had lots of fire. Fire. More spiders. Fun. <laughs> Fun fire. <laughs> spiders. Thank you all so much for joining us for Echoes of Eberron Dungeons and Dragons. We will be back next week with more. Uh, do check out our website, zgfgaming.com. Uh, we've got links for our Patreon, Discord, Telegram, Twitter, all those good things. Please come join us all over the place. <laughs> yes, Kraden, please, no more spiders. <laughs> God! Um, I will be back tomorrow with Tales of Mirrorleth Dungeons and Dragons, so come on by for that. For now, though, thank you all so much for joining, and I bid you all a very fond adieu. Yeah, have a fantastic rest of your week. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go follow around Nova for a week. Bye bye! Oh boy. Oh boy. Good night yes. in here. Good night, Power Stone. Good night, Graydon. Good night, friends. 
Good night, everyone. No, but else. where's the guest room? <laughs> you gotta slip into something more comfy. Oh, God. He's also gotta give you the Wi-Fi password. Yeah, can I have the Wi-Fi password?